Howdy folks, this is Brandon and I wanted to make a quick video about how to waterproof a pair of colored leather boots. Like this pair right here. Uh, these are a new pair of boots that I got and as you can see they're not dark brown, they're not black, they're kind of a lighter brown, almost a grayish looking color. And the problem that many of you have come to realize, I'm sure, is that if you use many of the commercial waterproofing products on the market, uh, you're going to destroy your boots. You're either going to make them white and crusty or really, really, really dark black. Particularly if you use something like Neverwet. We've all heard stories about Neverwet. I even created an entire video talking about how horrible Neverwet, Neverwet is. But there are many other products that you can use to waterproof leather that will actually destroy them. So I set out to try and find something that's going to at least make these water resistant that doesn't destroy them. And I believe I found it. Uh, what I like to use is the Kiwi Boot Protector. Now, it's not foolproof, but it does make your boots water repellent as long as you put it on correctly. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to put it on correctly. Once you've cleaned your boots with a horsehair brush, be sure to take off the shoelaces because you don't want to get this product on the shoelaces. Once your shoes are free from the shoelaces, make sure that you stand back between 7 and 10 feet or so, and then lightly spray one coating all over the boots. In my opinion, I've found better success by going in one direction whenever possible, trying not to put my fingers on the boots while this substance is being coated onto it because you don't want to leave fingerprints. Now you are going to notice that while you're coating your leather boots, they will look noticeably darker, and it will scare you. It scared me. I thought I had ruined these boots uh, because I didn't test it beforehand, as I probably should have. But if, uh, but, but, I, but it happened to dry fine. So don't worry about them looking too dark just yet. Apply the first coat. Then you're going to want to wait four hours, bring them back, and apply another thin coating. I think the success to using this spray is to not put it on too thick. One thin coat once, then let it dry for four hours, then one other thick coat on top of that, and you're going to get the best results. Then you're going to want to wait 48 hours. Yes, that's two whole days. I know it's a long time to wait, but trust me, it's worth it. You really don't have to use these tomorrow or the next day. So once you apply it, wait two whole days. After I let my boots dry for two whole days, I tested the waterproof functionality of it. And as you can see from this video, it worked remarkably well. Now there's some leather cladding on the bottom of my shoes that uh, I didn't spray with it and it did absorb some of the moisture and stained them. However, everywhere where I applied this spray left my boots completely unmarked. It made my boots extremely hydrophobic and it literally repelled water droplets just like you see in the Neverwet videos. Well, maybe not just like you see, but nearly enough. And the nice thing is that by using the Kiwi Boot Protector, I didn't damage the color of my boots. Here's a before shot before I applied the boot protector, and here's an after shot. Now, there is a slight difference. It's a little bit glossier and maybe just a tiny bit darker, but it's so small and minor that you really can't tell. Certainly, no one who could ever see the before shot would know that these boots have changed in any way. It's extremely small, the change, if any at all. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a really short video on the product that I finally found to make my boots water repellent without ruining them. The Kiwi Boot Protector for leather happened to work really well, didn't change the color of my boots, and I now have a pair of nice looking chukka boots that I can use in the fall and winter without worrying about ruining them. Let me know what you use in the description or in the comments of this video if you don't use the Kiwi Boot Protector. And thanks for subscribing.